Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Haugen. Hey, today we're going to do lesson nine in our application problem packet. So be sure you have your white math packet in front of you. Open to lesson nine. And today you can see we have a lot of dollar bills in this story problem that we're going to be adding. So let's go ahead and get started. Clark has three $10 bills and six $5 bills. He has two more $10 bills and two more $5 bills than Shannon. Oh wow, that's a whole lot, huh? So the question is, how much money does Shannon have? So there's a few things we have to do here. First, we need to know how much money Clark has. So let's work on that first. So Clark has three $10 bills. Okay, that's 30, right? 10, 20, 30. And he has six $5 bills. Well, I'm going to count by fives six times. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, done. So now I know that Clark, write this down for me, has $60. Nicely done, Clark. Okay, so that's how much Clark has, first of all. Now we know, let me change pen colors here. Now we know that he has two more $10 bills. Well, two tens would be 20, right? And two more $5 bills, well, two fives would be 10, more than Shannon. Well, how much more money does he have then? 20 plus 10 is 30. So we know he has $30 more than Shannon. So to find out how much money Shannon has, do we add the 60 and the 30 or do we subtract? So because Clark has more, we subtract to get Shannon's number. So Clark $60 minus $30 equals Shannon has $30. So that is the answer to my question. Shannon has $30. Again, this was a multiple step problem that we had to do here. First, we had to figure out how much money Clark had and then how much more money he had than Shannon. And then we subtracted those numbers to get Shannon's amount of money. Nice job, kiddos. I miss you and I hope you're doing well. Have a super great long weekend.